Hello YouTube, um, this today is going to be about different versions of the Bible. Um, what version of the Bible do you read? Um, basically, the next question would be, you know, there's a lot of conspiracies out there. Um, and don't you think one of the biggest ones would be destroying the Word of God? Um, then the Bible actually tell us in a certain verse that there shall be no man to actually take away or add to the words of God. That's pretty clear. Let's uh, first of all start out by comparing some of the versions like the NASB, the NIV, um, versus the King James Bible. Uh, first big difference would be in Revelations 1.11. Uh, the King James Bible says, I am Alpha and Omega. You know that the uh, NIV Bible leaves that out? Let's go to John 4.42. Uh, the word Christ is left out in those other Bibles. Um, Matthew 19.17. God is actually the word in the King James Bible, and uh, they actually changed that to only one. Only one what? <laughs> okay, and then uh, let's go further down. Joshua 22, 22. The Lord God. They changed that to the Mighty One. It says not to take away, to add, or change the words of God. What's happening here? You know... And then they change it to uh, from Daniel 3.25, from the Son of God, to actually a Son of the Gods. What gods? <laughs> uh, I don't know anything about that. Sounds like a little bit more New Age than me. You might want to argue. I know it's going to always be one of those things where people want to throw it in your face and they're going to argue the way they want it to go. But when it's the black and white, you're comparing text to text, words don't lie. Man does, but words don't. And God didn't make an error. It's man that made an error. Um, we actually go to the verse 1, 1 John of 5 and 7. Then the new international, the new versions have actually entirely removed the most powerful scripture identifying the Trinity. Where it says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And they, uh, <laughs> and these are only one, you know. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are one. Wow. Let's go to Ephesians 5 9. It says, Fruit of the Spirit. That would be in the King James Bible. NIVs and the other versions, Fruit of the Light. What is that? Revelations 21 24, King James, and the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it changes to in the other versions and the nation shall walk by its light you're adding and taking away right there that's kind of that's kind of scary revelations 15 3 king james king of saints and they change that to uh in the other versions king of nations and ages you know now i can understand some people might argue that the other words of god are supposedly i don't really call them words of god because i know that man has now got his fingers in there and tried to mess up just to kind of support their own agendas and when you start leaving the words of God out of the Bible that's a dangerous path that you don't want to take you know and in Acts 4 24 it says thou art God they take that out Matthew 8 29 Jesus they admit the word Jesus Mark 2 15 Jesus is in the King James Bible and they change it to him who's him uh, Matthew 6.33, the kingdom of God, and they change it to his kingdom. You know, if they want to call God he, uh, why don't you be a little more specific there? It's kind of it's kind of scary because you really shouldn't be uh, changing the words of God. And uh, that's just uh, one of my looks and views upon it. I'm not the brightest person in the world. I'm not a gr grammatically correct, and I'm not politically correct in a lot of ways. But you know what? I speak the words of God the way God actually told us. You know, they changed also, let's go to Isaiah 14, 12, 15, they changed the word Lucifer to Morning Star.